Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 156, Web Link Sets and Liquid. In tip number 153, I provided a high-level overview of Web Link Sets, which allow you to manage groups of internal and external links, which is useful for implementing areas such as the main navigation menu of the portal. In this tip, I'm going to dive deeper into using Liquid to customize the way your Weblink sets are displayed. The global Weblinks object in Liquid gives you access to the Weblink set objects for the portal by using the name as a key. The Weblink set objects has attributes like the name and title of the Weblink set and a list of the associated Weblinks. A weblink object has properties like the URL, whether the link is external, whether the link is the current sitemap node, or an ancestor of the current sitemap node. It also has properties like whether to open a new window, the image associated with the link if any, and if the link should be marked as no follow. The key thing to understand is that when you are using Liquid to display a weblink set, you are responsible for all of the markup. So, for example, if you don't implement the open a new window functionality, it doesn't matter if the user checks that attribute or not, since your code isn't respecting that value. If you're going to include web links in your own custom liquid, I recommend starting from the code that exists in the out of the box header template. It does a great job of handling all the different options for a link, including any child web links. It's probably easier to modify that code than it is to start from scratch. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 156 on web link sets and liquid useful.